way out west lies Germany's most infamous circuit, the Nürburgring. Modernized and 5.1 kilometers long, a place of pilgrimage for generations of motor racing fans. Right from the start, the drivers go on the attack as overtaking chances are otherwise thin on the ground. It's down from almost 300 to 90 kilometers an hour through the Castrol S. The whole pack charges into this sharp right-hander. Then it's into turns two and three, slightly falling away and beware, slippery. So they go hard over the curbs with perfect differential and good traction. Fully predictable, however, is the aerodynamic approach. Maximum downforce. The Nürburgring is a circuit with fast corners, and the changeable Eiffel weather influences the choice of tyre. As a general rule, the lower the temperature, the softer the compound needs to be. The tyres have to absorb extremely hard-breaking again and again. For example, a Dunlop from flat out in sixth right down into second, with at the same time an extreme inward camber around the hairpin. The track's low level of grip regularly gives the drivers plenty to do. The last F1 race staged here was in 2007. A tremendous downpour caused the race to be temporarily stopped. Safety, after all, has top priority. It was a full 22 minutes before the Grand Prix could get going again. One spot on this circuit where the sparks really fly is at the NGK chicane, a left-right combination, followed by a right-hander, the second good chance to attack. Then it's flat out onto the start-finish straight and off onto lap two of 60.